There are some secrets we take to the grave and others we plaster online for laughs. This is Dirty Laundry. I'm your host, Lily Dew. And today I am joined by a Bloody Mary, Vic Michaelis. Hi, thank you so much for having me. Happy to be here. A Bloody Grant, Raphael Chustang. Yep, that's, that's when me. Grant gets drunk and cuts his finger. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody Mary said three times while looking into a mirror, Ryan Creamer. Scary. And Bloody Kevin, that's just a random guy named Kevin who got hurt. <laughs> yeah. Carolyn Page. I'll cut you up, Kev. <laughs> <laughs> Here's how the game works. I have a stack of secrets about our guests and they have to guess who each secret belongs to. If it's their own, they should make accusations to try and throw people off their trail but we might have mixed in a secret or two about me or Grant, because we still have secrets too. Hey Grant, what's today special? Lily, today's cocktail is a Grant the Beachcomber, and our non-alcoholic option is a classic Shirley Temple. Wow, he found a way to make the drinks more about him. <laughs> All right, here is how scoring works. You get one point for every time you guess correctly, but if it's your own secret and you manage to trick everyone, you get Three points. Sound good? Mm -hmm. yes. yes. All right, let's get to it. <laughs> so I'll never lie to you. First secret. Who pissed their pants on purpose on a first date? On purpose? <laughs> on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you met you said, oh, not me by accident. Me by, <laughs> me by accident. Me not on purpose. <laughs> of, oh, I've done that many times. <laughs> <laughs> Never intentionally. Okay, this is tough. <laughs> Carolyn's shirt is literally yellow. But Ryan's a piss boy. That sure. is true. It is tough to, <laughs> this one's a tough one to defend when yeah. you're notoriously a piss boy. Yeah. 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 One of the main things people know about I me. I think it's Carolyn. I think it's Carolyn. Because of her yellow shirt? <laughs> no, no, yeah, I yeah, should that's clarify. Crazy. It's not because Logic. of the yellow shirt. I think if anyone's gonna do it on purpose, it would be Carolyn. Yeah, this is interesting because it kind of reads to me as like an alpha move. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta have a lot of confidence. Hey, you think you own this date? No. <laughs> yeah. And do you think this is to, yeah, impress them? Their, their, their yeah, date? What would I be bet the not. Okay, here's what I'm thinking though. It would be to get out of a date. Oh, well, that's right. what I'm thinking. Yeah. 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 To be like, oh, I have to go. Yes, that's My very pants. interesting. What coward would do that? Well, well, I don't know if it's I don't know if it's so much a cowardly. <laughs> yeah. Hang on. Let's get our guesses in. Yep. Oh no. Okay. Vic, who do you think pissed their pants on Me purpose first? on the first date? Um, okay, so I'm gonna go with my heart. And I'm gonna say Raph. Wow! <laughs> wow! I wanna follow my heart, and that's what okay. my heart says. All Sorry. Right. Go yeah. ahead. Waste your turn. I will. Okay, Thank Raph, you. who do you think then? I say Carolyn. I think it's Carolyn. Ryan, who do you think? I think the logic of it being to get out of a date makes a lot of sense to me, and I think a girl would do that uh, before a guy would, and I'm gonna say it's Carolyn. I'm gonna say it's Vic. Will the pants pisser please take a sip of their drink? Stop! <laughs> I gotta say, I'm so glad this is the first one because I was like, if I have to get up and pee during the show, <laughs> it's going to be so clear that it's me. <laughs> but you did it on purpose. Let me explain. <laughs> okay, so normally, standardly, I just have to peel out when I drink. Standard. Standardly, that's yeah. my operating, like, and this is a first date and I met this girl and it was, it was going well, but I just kept having to get up to pee. And I'll set the scene, it was raining in New York. I was wearing like a, a long raincoat. So this is goes into my purposeful strategy, okay? So I went up to go to, <laughs> stay with me, okay? Okay. Stay with me, okay? I'm right with you. You know yeah, what? Yeah. I, I, after this happened, told a group of friends and was like, this will be fun, we're laughing at it, and instantly I saw everyone's perception of me change. <laughs> <laughs> I will say, I have heard this story from a friend of Ryan's as a disturbing story about <laughs> <laughs> Ryan. The way, the way you're setting it up, it could be a rom-com, it could be a horror movie. I mean, so here's what happened. I, it was like the fourth or fifth time that I got up to pee and I'm like, I, I'm embarrassed. Like the, the optics of this just make me embarrassed. I don't want to get up to go and pee anymore. And I did the math. I'm like, it's raining outside. I'm wearing a long raincoat. I'm going to pee my pants right now instead of going to the bathroom again. <laughs> did you like what? this person? Yeah, like, was, was we, got, we went on another day. <laughs> <laughs> 
the date ended and she was just like, wow, you, you, you went away so fast. Like I went and got into a cab and it was like, I think she was like, we're gonna have a kiss. And I was just like, oh yeah, I had to run, sorry. I, was, I don't want, there's pee on my pants. I'm sorry, I pissed my pants. <laughs> <laughs> this is truly the wildest story I've ever And that's yeah. how we're starting. That's yeah, three that's points to Ryan on the first question. At what cost, but at what cost? Next question. Who had sex with someone the night that person signed their divorce papers? Damn. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Sorry, we're, are we still thinking about the piss pants? Yeah, that's gonna take me a while. To get <laughs> I think whoever submitted this just wants us to know that they've had sex. <laughs> I think they just it's want a you group, again. A group full of you people again. to be like, oh wow, you've had sex before? That's what I think the play is here. <laughs> I think it could be Piss Boy again. Oh, I can't become Piss Boy. I think they did back to back. <laughs> I've done back a great service to whoever this is by giving you the <laughs> lamest thing to catapult into coolness. Green card marriage? Mm. Could have been a green card oh. marriage. If you have this a green card marriage, time, so don't so say so it. <laughs> I'm hoping that the papers being signed was like part of the foreplay. I really hope it was part of the sex, you know oh. what I mean? Oh, yeah. that's. Ooh. Honestly, hot. <laughs> <laughs> it could have been great. Yeah. You, yeah. I like that. Wait, it's hotter after they're legally divorced and not when they're just still a little married? Oh, fuck, Lily. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. You're absolutely oh, right. Oh, fuck. Oh. <laughs> All right, let's get our guesses in. Who had sex with someone the night that person signed their divorce papers? Carolyn, who do you think it was? I think it's Grant. Ryan, who I'm do you think say it was? To you. Raph, who do you think it was? I think, I'm just gonna say Carolyn for everyone. You can't say me for every <laughs> I say answer. Carolyn. I'm going for who I think is probably the coolest person here, so I'm gonna go Carolyn. <laughs> wow, they looked right at me. I thought they were gonna say me. I was getting ready. I was getting ready to look right at me. Carolyn. And Thank you Carolyn. for saying I'm cool. That's the best compliment I've ever. I know gotten, it wasn't so. coming to the boy who's been called piss boy thus far. <laughs> <laughs> Will the person who had sex with someone the night that person signed their divorce papers please take a sip of their drink? It was me. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Sorry, Thank Mom. you. Points to Raph and Vic. Oh. I'm feeling good about this. There's actually <laughs> quite a bit more to the story. Because mm. yes. oh. it was also the first time I ever pegged anyone. Mm. Ooh! Way wow. wow. I get set up on this date. I'm a little hesitant because they're like, they're just getting a divorce. I'm like, that's not great. I'm looking for a relationship. That seems like a red that's flag. That's not what Grant and I are looking for. <laughs> yeah. Uh, ew. <laughs> Ooh. So we go out <clears throat> on this date. Things are going fine. We're doing some drugs. We're having some drinks. We go back to their place and then we're fooling around a little bit. He's having a little trouble getting aroused. So obviously, you know, he's just divorced. That's fine, like I can go or whatever. And then he like looks over at his bedstand and he's got this like pickle statue next to his bedstand. And he's like, what if you put this in my ass? And I was like, okay, I like to try new things. And then I did. Will you be honest right now? Was it a pickle Rick? Yeah, that was, yeah. This no! was pre-Rick and Morty. Okay. This was pre-Rick okay. and Morty. Okay, and wait, so it wasn't a dildo. That's it wasn't my a It was like, not a dildo. Was, it was just he had an actual statue. pickle statue. A statue, like Metal? a trophy of a pickle. For what? Do you think he's put that in his ass before? In the moment, it seemed like he hadn't, but when I, recounting this story to my friends, they were all like, that's his Are you kidding pickle. me? Why is it on the bedside? He has a statue of a pickle <laughs> next to his bed? <laughs> All right, that is points to Vic and Raph. Uh, can I have a point as well? <laughs> no, 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 I don't think I will give you a point for that. Next question. Who nearly got shot while impersonating a cop? Whoa. Wow. That's fucking crazy. Well, it's not Vic. Why? Why, oh. why? <laughs> because they're too uh, clean cut. You would never do anything like that. I Thank don't you. believe. I think I it is that. you. I think it is Vic. This has to be on a set, right? Like impersonating yeah, a cop, I right. think, is like they were cast. To me, this is not someone, oh. you know what I mean? Yeah. Honestly, here's my thought, is it's gotta be somebody that's like big on doing like internet videos, right? Because I feel mm. like that's maybe a, a avenue that somebody's taking where it's sure. like for a, for a TikTok or something oh. like that. Oh. And to me, that leans maybe Ryan. Mm. Yeah. Okay, how about this? If you've ever pretended to be a cop, you have to tell us. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I have 
played security people. I played like FBI agents on TV and been on the streets like wearing shirts that say FBI on them and stuff. Mm. So I think it's very easy to Female be around. Female body inspector? Yeah. Female body inspector. <laughs> yeah, that's why I feel like it's Vic because Vic looks like someone who Hollywood people would cast as a cop. Mm, interesting. Good point. And now Raph hasn't said very much, so now I think it's Raph. Raph yeah, is a quiet okay. man, though. Yeah, I'm. I'm just gonna say Carolyn again. I had. I had. That's a cop haircut. It, it's clear. a cop haircut. No, I'm taking it back. <laughs> fuck, fuck cops. I'm taking it. Raph. Okay, our final guess is Raph thinks it's Carolyn. Ryan, who do you think? I'm gonna say Raph because we did a sketch. You're the only person that I've seen in real life in uniform be dressed as a cop. Oh, yeah. That. Sure. Okay. Good guess, Vic. I'm gonna guess Ryan. Okay, Carolyn. Vic. Will the cop impersonator please take a sip of their drink? Oh. oh! Wow! Wow! God damn it, Ryan! <laughs> <laughs> He's seen you in uniform. He's seen too much. <laughs> so what happened? I was filming a prank show in Atlanta. Oh. Let me tell you something. <laughs> If you're gonna play a fake cop, wear a real vest. Cause they're gonna be, <laughs> cause, they're, cause somebody, somebody, you're gonna be able to fool somebody and some people you don't wanna fool that well. I can't fool anyone as a cop. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, you're under arrest. <laughs> she also wears long evening gloves. Yeah, the gloves. As a cop. <laughs> okay, I'm filming a prank show where the prank was, it was actually a very nice prank where I'm supposed to pretend like I'm um, towing this guy's motorcycle. Oh, no. Now, this guy belongs to a, a biker a group, uh, which was very important to make that distinction between a biker group and a biker gang. The difference is a person in a biker group doesn't want you to know they're a gang. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody there... <laughs> Every, oh, no. Everybody there really hated cops, and they let me know that. Um, and so in the middle of the thing... And this was a nice prank, Cal? It was a nice prank because at the end of it, Shaquille O'Neal comes around the corner in <laughs> whoa, a... Whoa, in a motor. Whoa. In a brand new motorcycle for this guy. So his motorcycle is a little beat down, and he has this wish of, like, this is my dream motorcycle. Okay. And so he thinks I'm towing it, then Shaq comes around, big ass Shaq comes around <laughs> on the Shaq on the motorcycle. Shaq motorcycle's pretty good. The problem is that Shaq is late. So they're in my ears. <laughs> they're, they're, so they're in my ears saying, vamp. Okay, so I gotta keep going at as it with this cop. guy. Yeah, as a cop, as a police officer, he's like, Oh God. So they're like, tell him the VIN number is scratched off. It looks like you might be stolen. So he's really getting heated. Uh, anyway, eventually Shaq comes around the corner with the motorcycle, and the guy tells the guy uh, told me, he was like, It's a good thing Shaq showed up when he did. I was about to introduce you to my nine friends, and then he flashed, <laughs> and he flashed his gun at me. And everyone Everyone was strapped. My guns, totally fake. <laughs> I like that he calls them friends. <laughs> yeah. I think that's nice. Was he happy when Shaq got there? Yeah, everybody's happy when Shaq gets there. <laughs> if Shaq walked in right now, we'd all be happy. Like, yeah, he was good. <laughs> All right, points to Ryan for guessing. Again, if we're giving away points, I'll take one. Yeah, I'll we're not. Take one. We're okay. not. Once again, mm, okay. you could ask, but I won't. Give it <laughs> Next question: uh. Who got trapped in an amusement park in the middle of the night with an escaped inmate? It sure sounds like Scooby Doo. <laughs> <laughs> the narrative I'm constructing in my head was like, there's a gunman on the loose, and everyone cleared out except for this one person, <laughs> and it's them <laughs> stuck with the other person. Sleep on a bench. Yeah. yeah. I gotta get on Goliath. Yeah. <laughs> but why? Why are they trapped though? Oh no, they shut down the the amusement park. They shut they down found the amusement park. They found out that they found out oh. someone was in there. Yeah, they found out that there was an escaped inmate in there, and they said nobody's getting out. Right. Also, okay. if you're an escaped inmate, don't go to an amusement park. That's so cliche. <laughs> go to go to Raf's house. <laughs> <laughs> to me, this is the like question. a complete dice roll. It could be anyone. I just really yeah. want to hear the story. <laughs> yeah. Let's get those guesses in then. Raf, who do you think got trapped in the amusement park? I think park? Vic. Amusement park is very wholesome. That, that's what I think. I'm a bad guy. I don't know. <laughs> Vic, who do you think? Raph. Ryan. I'm going to say Vic. I'm going to say Vic, too. 
Will the person who is trapped in an amusement park with an escaped inmate please take a sip of their drink? Yeah, okay. Yeah! Yeah! That, was, that was fucked up. Uh, so, okay. So to preface this, I worked for three seasons, like what I have the most job experience in is being a monster at Halloween no time. Way. Yeah, like doing like Halloween haunts and things like that. Uh, so I was very good at that. Uh, so basically they were like, okay, you're so good at this. Do you want a job over the summer working in the tech department? And I was like, yeah, absolutely. Same skill. So they're just like, we're gonna give you the easiest job. You're gonna babysit the fireworks. There has to be somebody watching over the fireworks 24 hours a day when fireworks are on site. So I stayed in this tiny little like shack back by all the Halloween decorations. You like walk through and then there's this like patch of fireworks. And my only job is I have to like go once every hour and just like loop around the fireworks and come back. And I have a, got a little radio. You don't get any cell service. They say like, you have to be awake and alert. It's part of the law. I fell asleep immediately every single time I was there. So I all of a sudden wake up and my little radio is buzzing and it's the security guard who has never called me in like my five or six nights I've done this so far. And he's just like, hey, I'm gonna loop around if you can just come out front for a sec. And I was like, yeah, of course, absolutely. This is fun, I'm getting a visitor. Um, so he comes through and he's just like, hey, just wanted to give you a heads up. Uh, we got a call from the police station. Apparently there's like someone running around out here uh, that escaped from one of the prisons. Don't worry about it, shouldn't be a problem. What? And then he leaves. Oh. And so it's just me in this tiny little shack all night, and then we find out the next day they found him in one of the bathrooms, like close, close enough right. to the shack that, like, had I decided to go back out and like do my rounds, I maybe could have run into them. I don't, Christ. I don't know, but it was Whoa. truly one of the wildest things that has <gasps> happened to me, and I never went back. I truly never went back again. <laughs> well, that is one point for everyone except Vic for <laughs> somehow getting um, shack in the woods amusement park vibes from Vic. <laughs> I thought he did so well too. I was like, I was like, I'm gonna, I'm nail, I'm getting three points. This is gonna be great. <laughs> Really? Listen, no, people knew. As someone who likes amusement parks, you give off big amusement park energy. <laughs> <laughs> that is it for round one. We are gonna take a quick break in the meantime. Hey, Grant, what are we drinking today? So today's cocktail is a Grant the Beachcomber, which is a cocktail that I invented, and it's honestly so stupid for me to include in this series, because it, it, it has a bunch of ingredients that you're never going to have. This is an homage to a tiki drink. It's strong, it's rich, it's assertive, it's sweet. This drink is everything I wish I was as a man. We're gonna start with an ounce of good rum. Uh, I'm using a Jamaican rum here uh, because I really like that, that brown sugar note, that burnt th uh, note that you're getting off of there. That's gonna be a full ounce of that. Then we're gonna do a half an ounce of a super funky rum called Smith & Cross that has almost like a petroleum nose, in a good way. Uh, you don't wanna overdo it with this stuff, but just a little bit in the background is really gonna give it a nice, like, assertiveness. From there, we're gonna get even weirder and we're gonna add three quarters of an ounce of macadamia nut liqueur, which you are definitely not gonna have around your house. Finally, we're gonna add pineapple amaro and there's one company in the whole world that makes pineapple amaro. Add an ounce of that, then ice that down and we're gonna stir that. I'm tracing my spoon right against the glass to get everything really just to spin in there. One nice big ice cube and we're gonna strain that right in. Over that, a twist of orange. And that is a Grant the Beachcomber. And we're back. Let's recap the scores. We have Vic with one point. Hey, that's pretty good. Don't clap. <laughs> Raph with two points. <sighs> Ryan with five points. And Carolyn with one point. Ugh. All right. Who's Next the piss boy? Secret. <laughs> it's still you. Absolutely. But maybe someone else will get a new nickname because the next secret is Who made a hamster come? C U M come. <laughs> Ryan, right? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely Ryan. <laughs> right? <laughs> I will say, whoever's this is owes me a credit because I know there's targets on my back. <laughs> I know everyone's gunning for me. It's not me. 
but I've done a great shielding job for whoever this is. Okay, here's what I think is behind this story, is mm. someone was breeding hamsters, and so they put a, a two hamsters together, and the hamsters mated, and then the hamsters, so you know. Oh, that like, would be I a real cir circuitous way to say I bred hamsters. But it hamsters. is a good thought. No, like, I think they jerked off a hamster. <laughs> <laughs> that's, what I, that's exactly what I think happened. With that pressure. I have, the, Carolyn, I have no idea. <laughs> I, I promise you, I have no fucking idea. <laughs> I, th I think I think they jerked off a hamster like the same way that you would do a horse. With both your arms. <laughs> 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 well, well, for whatever arms. reason, whatever reason people have for jerking off horses, like medically. Right. <laughs> medically. That, they get what, hysterical unless they, they come. <laughs> <laughs> Vic is fully in shock. <laughs> yeah. Really? Well, I think it's Vic, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My thought is it has to be somebody that would most likely work at a pet store. Mm -hmm. That's a good thought. Or who do you think owns <laughs> a, a hamster? Because when you own the pet, you have to take them through all kinds of shit. Okay, I'll lay it out there. My sister owned a guinea pig. Mm. But that's not a hamster. Exactly. <laughs> I, I owned guinea pigs and hamsters, and I never made either of them jizz. I had a hamster. I yeah, never. Wow, made... a lot of hamster owners <laughs> in the house. <laughs> oh, I'm looking pretty clean right now. <laughs> Did you ever like have every... a hamster? No. Did you ever work at a pet store? No. Did you ever let a hamster bukkake on your face? Of course. <laughs> Went to college, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, let's get our guesses in. Raphael, who do you think made a hamster come? Vic. Okay. Vic, who do you think made a hamster come? Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, who do you think made a hamster come? I'm gonna say Raph. Carolyn? I'm gonna say Raph, I'm gonna say Raph. Well, the person who made a hamster come, please take a sip of their drink. You sneaky hamster fucker. <laughs> Were you wearing the gloves? <laughs> I'm so yeah. sorry. No, yeah, you got it. it. Okay, here's the story. Um, after my freshman year of college, I was in New York for the summer, and my like high school boyfriend, ex-boyfriend, on and off, was hanging out a lot at his like NYU drug dealer friend's apartment on like Avenue C, and. I was there and the guy got a hamster for some reason. This hamster had the largest balls I'd ever seen. What? And I was like, oh my God, what do you do? And I took a pencil and I kind of tapped them. And I was like, oh my God, just get those away from me. And then they started getting really big and swollen. And I was like, oh no, <laughs> oh no, I've given it what it wants. <laughs> oh no, I've sexually aroused this hamster. Wow. Oh and so God. I stopped doing that and we just kind of let the hamster run around and it ran up my um, ex's jeans. And then later he looked down and he goes, why is there a huge wet stain on my jean? Mm -hmm. And why are the hamster's testicles so much smaller now? Wow. <laughs> Damn. That is points to nobody. <laughs> Except the hamster. Except the hamster. Except the hamster. Point for the hamster. Next wow. question. Who committed libel against Reese Witherspoon? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's very funny. Yeah, this is getting very serious. <laughs> <laughs> what is libel again? Hmm, okay, Aww. it was Ryan. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Libel's when you like slander someone's name. Well, isn't that slander? <laughs> yeah. Slander is Lib out loud, libel's in writing. Got it. Oh. Oh, oh who it. can't do libel then? Writing? Oh, okay. interesting. So yeah, right. it could be like a tweet, right? Yeah. What about freedom of speech? Go off. <laughs> Go off. Go off, off Elon. <laughs> yeah. What about freedom <laughs> of speech? Just kidding. Be nice to everyone. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm gonna say that it was Raph because he's done a lot of comedy writing and he talks so much shit on Reese Witherspoon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. My thought is that it has to be somebody that's a good enough writer that it was like the, the type of thing that she read and was like, that is not okay. No, so, it's definitely not me then. I'm gonna say Carolyn. <laughs> I'm gonna say Grab. Carolyn. Let's get our guesses in. Ryan, who do you think? Thick. Thank you. You're welcome. Carolyn, who do you think? 
I'm gonna say Raph again. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with Raph. Raph, who do you think? I'm gonna say Ryan. Vic, who do you think? Oh, we're just gonna make it sort of an even. Hmm. An even. Du- mm, no, Carolyn. <laughs> an even distribution. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say an even baker's dozen, and that didn't make sense. <laughs> <laughs> Will the person who committed libel against Reese Witherspoon please take a sip of their drink? <laughs> All right, and tell. that's it for me. Um, Here we fucking go again. <laughs> this was a bad day. Uh, so I used to write for uh, the ET Online, Entertainment Tonight, their website, ET Online. Oh. It's like an entertainment news blog. So what happened was Reese Witherspoon had gotten uh, struck by a car while she was jogging in Santa Monica on 20th. I wrote that she had been struck by a car going 20 miles an hour. Now, if, if you get struck by a car going 20 miles an hour, she'll probably survive. <laughs> but that shit, you're going to have some serious debt. Like, it's a huge difference from <laughs> what actually happened. Um, but because the publication has kind of like a wide uh, audience or whatever, you can still, you can Google it, and there are still stories that still say, she, reportedly, uh, Entertainment Tonight says that she Does it struck. have your byline on it? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> That's gotta be great for her though, right? Because then she like made this miraculous recovery. She's back on set the next day. Yeah, yeah. Strong. Everybody's like, Reese, you're so brave. You know yeah, what I yeah. mean? Like, that's got to be fantastic. So she should give you a prize, actually. The <laughs> insane way my brain heard this story when you said it is that Reese was running 20 miles. <laughs> That's confusing. <laughs> it's confusing. I was like, holy fuck, we're in the Olympics. <laughs> All right, that is one point for Carolyn. Next. Who burns somebody's eye after a profession of love? So we don't know who professed love. No, I guess it's unclear. So it could have been like so a maybe, wedding. Yeah, right. But we, we, we think it's a, it's a, obviously it wasn't on purpose. <laughs> so we think it's a clumsy person? I don't think well, anyone, don't as much as I hate everyone here, I don't think <laughs> any of you would have purposely burnt someone's eye. We also literally just minutes ago said nobody could possibly have purposefully pissed their pants. <laughs> and yet here we are. It's very true. Let's get our guesses in. Carolyn, who do you think burns someone's eye after a profession of love? I think it's Grant. I think this sounds like some wacky Grant shit. That really is some Grant ass mm. shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I tell Clumsy. people I love them all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, who do you think? Uh, I'm going to say Vic. Vic, who do you think? This screams a bit gone wrong. So I am going to say Ryan. <laughs> Raph? I'm going to say Carolyn. Will the person who burns somebody's eye after a profession of love please take a sip of their drink? No. Oh. Yay! Uh-huh. Gather round, kids. <laughs> We're gonna go back a little bit for this story. Okay. To my kitchen in Brooklyn, the first year that I lived there. And Tell I was dating I was dating this guy. <laughs> And he was on my laptop while I was cooking him dinner. Whoa. Pick around, give him a little peck on the cheek. What do I see on my laptop? He's on Tinder. <gasps> How on serious is this relationship? We've been dating for Who's on Tinder on a laptop? <laughs> is it even, is it, it's available like that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is not as fun on the browser. What? Using the mouse to move to the right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I say, what the fuck? He says, uh, apologizes like, oh my God, I'm doing it for my ego because I like the ego boost. I say, that doesn't make it better. Okay, dinner's in the trash, you can go. So we break up. Next day, I wake up, open my front door, birds are chirping, I'm sad because of the breakup, obviously. I find a beautiful bouquet of flowers, lovely handwritten note, 
saying, I love you, I love you, love you, so sorry, da, da, da. Take the note, reading it, crying, crying, crying. I'm like, okay, let's meet up. We can talk this out, maybe. I get, like, whatever. So he comes over, I'm like, you cannot come in. Like, we're gonna talk on the stoop, like New Yorkers, proper New Yorkers. So I'm having a cigarette, and <laughs> I say, we're breaking up, obviously. We're not together. His totally sane response, obviously this is a very sane, stable person, as you can tell from going on Tinder on a laptop. He says, I love you, will you marry me? No. Oh, what? God. Stop. He says that, I'm like, I'm and like. she said, yes! <laughs> <laughs> and now we're married. <laughs> I scoff, <laughs> flick my cigarette, as I go like this to move it, as he goes in for a hug, Ooh. the cigarette grazes his eye. Oh, God. And he says, ow. And then we do <laughs> break up. But he didn't have to go to the hospital or anything? He didn't have to go what to the pity. hospital. The but I think it did yeah. burn a little bit of his eyebrow off. Eyebrow. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Honestly, maybe if you would have had to spend seven hours in the ER with him, it would have worked out. <laughs> it would have worked out. <laughs> All right, that is a crazy story. And that is a point for Raph. Congratulations. Congrats. Thank you. I appreciate that. <gasps> Next <laughs> question. Who had their driver's license photo taken while still in their Halloween costume? <laughs> That's Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? I, I, I think you would do it just for a, a, a goof. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and what you think Ryan's the only funny one of us? No, 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 no. <laughs> I, I think they. I think whoever did that, they did that for their first uh, uh, driver's license. I'm or they looked they at. They let you. Yeah, that's what I was just about to say. They looked at the rules and were like, "Oh, what can I do?" <laughs> <laughs> it was like, "Oh, I can go in and anything." Yeah. And yeah, that's. I, I think that's what. That's I cool. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. That's fun. So I'm thinking like. Because there do have to be rules. Like, you can't come as, like, the Wicked Witch of the West. <laughs> right. We're thinking, well, it's per, it's it's up to the states. And you're from Maryland? Yeah. Maryland. Okay, yeah. I think Maryland has its own thing. Y'all got Based that. off No. <laughs> Maryland's like an in-between. It's not the north. It's not really the It's kind of the south, but not really. It's... Yeah, y'all yeah, y'all are weird. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get those guesses in. Raph, who do you think did this? Oh, I think it's Ryan. Ryan, who do you think did this? Or Vic. Damn. No, I've been doing the Vic strat, and that has not been working for me. No, guess me. OK, Vic. <laughs> Vic, who do you think? Ryan. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Carolyn, who do you think had their driver's license photo taken while in Halloween costume? I was going to say Vic, but their strategy of saying Ryan so quickly, I'm now not sure is faking me no, out. Guess me. I'm going to go. <laughs> do it. <laughs> oh, I, I, I just fell for this. I just fell for this. Oh, God. Ryan. <laughs> Well, the person who had their driver's license photo taken while still in their Halloween costume, please take a sip of their drink. No, it's not me. Uh, it is me. Ah! Yeah! Yeah! Oh, man. <laughs> That was really oh, good. Oh, that's good. Congrats, you I'm just... sure it was Vic because that really has big theme park energy. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, we're in a fight now. I... <laughs> so yeah. I went and saw Walter White. <laughs> Holy shit. Wow. For Halloween. This was in college, and it was not as fun as I've. <laughs> <laughs> no! So unfortunately, no. it doesn't read as Walter White as much as it does domestic terrorists. <laughs> you look like yeah, where were you on January 6th? <laughs> um, no, this was a thing. I was off at college. I was like, life is here, not at home. And um, it was Halloween, and I went as Walter White. I was like, I'm going to commit, shave my head. And then got a call from my folks being like, hey, your license is almost out of, uh, it's almost expired. This is not an intentional, like, fun, I'm doing a bit oh. thing. It was just like a... Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. <laughs> and I had my shaved head, and I was like, okay, I guess. <laughs> I guess I'm on the no-fly list for eight more years. Oh. <laughs> I like that you went with the smile, though. Oh, you yeah. gotta go with the smile. <laughs> you could tell he's a sweet boy underneath <laughs> all, all, all the white supremacy. <laughs> that is points to everyone except for Ryan. Yeah. Boo. Would anyone like to ask for any points? 
Yeah. No. Okay. You can't ask. Oh, I would. I'll. Um. I would like to ask for a point. I'll think about it for you. Um. Last question. Wait. I'll take a point. <laughs> I'll take one. No. Okay. Fair enough. Um. Last question. Who had a bomb squad called because of them? A bomb squad. A bomb Ryan squad. in that last picture. <laughs> <laughs> uh. All right. Well, I got a confession. <laughs> <laughs> A baffling strategy. <laughs> I'm just like wondering what a context could be that this would be okay. Yeah, no, it wasn't okay. <laughs> there's, there's no way that it was okay. But what do you remember? Well, uh, uh, <laughs> I, when I was in high school, what this is like 03, uh, there were a lot of bomb threats mm -hmm. <laughs> at my high school. They, you know, it was after 9-11, we were at war. <laughs> 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 but the, but um, no, there were a lot of bomb threats at, at my high school. There were because they figured out if they call in a threat, we wanted to do. Fi it, was got, yes. it was always yes, around finals. It was always around finals. Get school off. They call, you, you well, can yeah, fake you, sick or you can call in a bomb threat. Yeah. Kids, keep those in mind. You can oh, be a God. hero for yourself or you can be a hero for the whole school. <laughs> Fix I'm eyes. Shocked. A true horror <laughs> of what the world has to offer washing over. Well, I haven't left my house in 15 years. Sometimes you didn't study enough for your AP exam. So you gotta plan a little bomb. What's up? I wasn't showing up to school anyway, so this is all new to me. <laughs> all right, let's get those. Final, final guesses in. Vic, who do you think had a bomb squad called on them? I feel like maybe Grant. I gotta tell you, 9-11 was a crazy thing. <laughs> <laughs> Rafael? I mean, I guess I go with Vic. Ryan? I wanna say Raf, because he was talking about calling one in today. <laughs> <laughs> he, almost, he didn't want to do this shoot, and he was gonna call in the, a bomb threat. Carolyn? Ryan? Will the person who had a bomb squad called because of them please take a sip of their drink? Listen, I'm just happy Ralph got the party, you know? It's like, it's camaraderie yes. with the couch, you know? You played that so, so well. That was good. Act Tour. Wow. Genuinely <laughs> had me. And seen. <laughs> I, okay, so our eighth grade trip to DC, okay. uh, neighbor to Maryland. Of course. Um, we were doing the tour of like all the different museums, and of course, we were at the spy museum. I was not like a cool person in uh, middle school or high school or anything like that. Uh, and so I was like, oh. I'm gonna impress people by buying a bunch of stuff at the spy museum was my plan. And then I was like, and then I'm gonna show them off to everybody and I'll show off all my spy gadgets and it's gonna be super fun. Um, because it's the spy museum, their whole gimmick is they like just put stuff in like plain brown paper bags. And our next stop was one of the war memorial museums. Uh, so I was like sitting down with my class. I left this brown unmarked bag with like, glasses and cameras, like button cameras and a jar of peanut butter that was hollow on the inside, just like <laughs> in this memorial and we leave. And then I'm like, oh no, I forgot my bag. We gotta go back. I make my entire class go back to this museum. Uh, at which point the entire thing is roped off, like with the caution tape. Uh, and they have called in the bomb squad because somebody has left a very, very suspicious package with items that should not be placed in a bag together in this like <laughs> this moment of silence room that you go into. So they are sure that somebody is trying to bomb this this memorial, but they didn't. It was me, and I got my bag back. And then yeah. Shaquille O'Neal pulled up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that is a point to Raf. It's closing time. Let's look at the final scores. We have Vic with two points. Okay. All right. Carolyn with. Three points. Congratulations. Okay. Ryan with five points. And Raf with five points. That Whoa. means our winners are, don't leave them hanging. Our winners are Raf and Ryan. Grant, tell them what they've won. The prize is a dirty laundry cocktail set. Ooh, yeah. 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 Get yourself something nice in that. All right, that's it for Dirty Laundry. I'm your host, Lily Dew, and here's hoping you become a regular.
Will the person who lost a nipple climbing a fence? Will the pants pisser caught eating leftovers out of the trash? Threw up in a Disney Channel star's living room? Mausoleum hooker up. Virgin sacrificer. Arrested in the middle of their English class. Trapped in an amusement park in the middle of the night with an escaped inmate. Investigated by the FBI. Made a man climax by smashing a lamp to pieces. Human body part thief, please take a sip of their drink. Please take a sip, take a sip, a sip, sip of their drink. Take a big ol' sip of their drink. <laughs> We would still be friends after this. Yeah! <laughs> oh! Let's start lying. Oh no! No way, you son of a biscuit. You were in high school? Oh my gosh. <laughs> that was <laughs> tough. Very satisfying. Yeah, I did it. I did it. That is the dirty laundry first. Well, you have sort of a graveyard energy. <laughs> Probably 24 inches. 24 yeah. inches? I don't believe 24 you. inches? I'm doing it from the table. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. All these secrets are disgusting. Uh, Eat my ass, Brennan. I want to live behind the paywall with you. <laughs> well, dang, welcome to the Krusty Ho Club. <laughs> oh my god. I've got a cup of coffee. I'm changing my tampon. <laughs> Everybody's getting real quick drinks. Chipotle brown dirt. Spike to apple cider. Celery margarita. I'm super drunk right now. Oh. <laughs> so what if it was me? Oh. I have secrets about everyone. I'm so bad at this. <laughs>